I told him I wanted to work at Ypsilanti Community School because it reminded me of my high school in Louisiana, which is predominantly a minority high school. And I want to work in that environment. I want to give something back because of the development and the things that I got from being in the same situation. When I was in high school, Miss Jetson, I mean, she's long passed away. A lady got me involved, told, told me that if I didn't get my act together, I would never go to college. Without, and she told me all the other things. She said, you probably wouldn't live to be 21, all the stuff she scared me with. And, and she put me into an academic like support thing with her and another teacher, Miss Lucas. So those two ladies put me, because they saw something in me, into an academic environment. And that got me through the hump. They got, sent me on to college. And uh, because of the help that they gave me, I figured I need to help somebody else. So when I got the job over here as a dean, that's all I intended to be. I never intended to coach football again. The head coach resigned. And I was approached then about to see if I was interested in the job. My, my initial response to that was uh, no. I was not interested in the job. I just want to help these kids as a dean. And, and then after the second time I looked at it, I said, I'm here at 5 or 6 o'clock every day anyway. So and you love football. Your son's gone. Why not? So, And then I started getting attached to some of the kids. I said, OK, I want to coach football. I love being here because I feel like I'm making a difference. Uh, mm -hmm. To me, that's critical in anything I do. If it's nothing that's going to motivate me to do something better, then I don't want to do it. And therefore, I feel so strong about being here because I see that there's a need to be here and be a leader in this community and a leader in this school.